showed you the yin and yang in the Grand Designs Garden, and wasn't that awesome? Here we are, and we're going to show you just how easy it is to make. What do we need? A bit of builder's line or um, any kind of twine that you have, as long as it doesn't stretch, okay? That's the secret. We need a nail, and we need some polystyrene. This is going to make your life so much easier. First thing is we want to decide the actual circumference of our yin and yang circle that we're going to be making. All we're going to do is pop the nail in, okay, push it in, right, we've made a loop there, we've made a loop here, and all we're going to do is then go around to create our circle. Now of course if you knew exactly what you wanted you could of course use a lid from, I don't know, a dog's food bowl, something like that. You could use literally anything that you want to create your circle. So from there, you take your nail out because you've got your center point. That's where it was over there, your hole inside the polystyrene. And at this point, we now want to cut the shape out of our polystyrene. We're just going to make a first incision. Right, Garth, hit it. Okay, Garth, I'm not going to make you cut that whole thing out because luckily enough we cut one earlier. Ha ha! <laughs> so, have a look here. This is exactly it. There it is. That was our circle. Now watch, this is the magic part. Pop him out. Okay. So this is going to be your mould. So we've got that part. Here's the part that goes inside. Now what we need to do is work out our shape of our yin and yang. And I'm sure that there are various ways of calculating it, but we're going to show you a very simple method of how to do it in a freehand kind of way. Okay, so we know where our center point is. All we need is something as a straight edge to be able to get a line that's going to go through the middle to create two halves, two pars essentially, of our polystyrene mold. So there we go, like that and like that. Okay, so that's what we've got there. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go kind of like a free hand there and there and come down to there. Next up, we're going to use the jigsaw again to cut along the line that we've marked. So we've got two halves and you're going to think, well, why on earth are you cutting it in half, Tanya? Because I'll tell you and I'll show you how easy it's going to make your life in a second. So, Garth, you want to whack this guy in half here for me, please? Awesome stuff, Garth. So, there we have it. One whole circle and bang, two halves, groovy. So these little guys fit perfectly back into the hole because of course that's where we cut them out. And now the last thing that we remember from the yin and yang little paver was that there was a hole in one of them which was filled with beautifully colored um, little pebbles of fine, fine dust. And all you need for that is you can take a cup. We've just taken a bit of PVC piping here and you can literally put that wherever you want your little circle to be. And all we need to do now, Garth, is get our concrete mixture ready to go into our mold. Let's go do it. Right, because these are stepping stones and we're going to actually want to walk on them, you've got to make them pretty strong. So we're going to be using a two-in-one mixture. So now think about this carefully. It's going to be two volumes of the sand and the stone and one volume of the dry cement. Okay, so I'm going to be using, filling up this bucket as my measuring tool. Right. Okay, in he goes, straight in, and then two parts of stone. Now you'll notice the stone that we're using is a very fine stone. It's a 13 mil stone. Go for it, Garth, whack him in. And we're using a small stone because, because the volume of our pavers is not very big. Next up, you know the drill, yep. let's get it mixed. Are you happy, Garth? I'm happy with it. Great. Okay, Garth, let's get the water in. Um, hold me back when you need to. Right. <laughs> okay, Tanya. Okay, let's go for it. I'm going to go in and get it. Cool, Garth. And how do we know that it's all right and good to go? Well, it's that thick Greek yogurt. <laughs> Let's get it off to our moulds. 
we have put this on a table this is our level board that we are going to leave it here to dry because once you've thrown this you are not going to pick it up and walk off anywhere all right it needs to stay here to be able to dry okay cool so we've got this little oak and Garth I think he should be right there bang about there okay. I'm just going to hold it in place and you want to whack some of the concrete mixture inside here let me give you a hand there awesome that's awesome okay pull it round All right, folks, our concrete mixture is in here. I'm just using the little trowel. Get it in the corners. Make sure you get rid of all the air pockets. There we go. We can use the mallet. Just give it a bit of a tap. Bang it around a bit. And then we can use the wooden float just to smooth things off. Okay, it's looking pretty cool, Garth. You're happy. Now all we need is a sponge. You got one handy there, Garth. Cool, right. And then we're just going to neaten it off and clean it off on the edges. So that should do the trick. Right, he's good to go. Lacquer in place. So let's do the other one, Garth. All right, little oaky in place. I've got him. Lovely stuff. There we go, just to finish it off. Garth, he should be in place by now, hey? Yeah, okay. Fixed up. Now all we do, leave it to dry. If you see that there's going to be a bit of rain, cover it with some black plastic. It's advisable. Um, the longer you leave it to cure, of course, the stronger your mixture becomes. And that's ultimately what we want. So leave it to cure and that's going to take a good few days. So Garth, all we're doing now is waiting for it to dry. Yes, Tanya, <laughs> another thing is, uh, I'd say about three hours time. Mm -hmm. You just come here and just turn your PVC pipe a little bit. Okay. And you can come back a little bit later on again. Right. And you just make sure your pipe is loose. Okay. Because we don't want to leave the pipe in. We For want to sure. remove it. Okay. All right, folks. So our yin and yang pavers have had enough time to dry. We're now going to take them out of our mold. Garth, I think the easiest way is actually going to be if we just work it here. There we go. Just give it a bit of a push. There we go. Try that side on there. Might have to give it a cut here. Garth, I got the stubborn one. Aha! Uh -huh. Awesome. Because while these guys were drying, we managed to twist them a bit, so it just loosens them off. Now, when it comes time to take them out, out they come, good and proper, and we've got our little holes, which we're going to add in the fine little pebbles, like you saw in the yin and yang garden. Right, folks, this is where we've decided to put our little yin and yang paver right in the middle of my aloe and succulent garden. So all we've got to do, because I've got gravel, just rake away some of the gravel to make a space. There we go. Just a tip, folks. You'll notice that underneath here, I've reached my fabric, and that's the weed guard fabric that I put down literally in this entire garden to make sure that no weeds start popping through. And it also is a good protective layer for my pebbles so they don't get mixed into all the mud that's underneath here. So, yeah, I think we're good to go. Garth, have you got a yin for me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Awesomeness, beautiful. Okay, he's gonna go down here and let's find the yang. Beautiful. Nice feel. There we go, we can get them a little bit closer. And then, just like you saw in the garden, the little in-between bits were filled with some colorful pebbles. I'm sticking with one color. I just think I like the look of just something single. In goes over here. These are just um, little stones from our local garden center. And then, Garth, let's just fill these pebbles just back around it. There we have it, guys. Goth, it looks pretty cool. Very cool, Tanya. I like it. And you know what? If you get bored with this color, you can just change Thank it. Um, you could even plant a little succulent inside each one. I like that idea. Yeah. Well, folks, there you go, yin and yang. I know that you two can do it in your garden. Create something fun, different. You know, you can even stain this. You can really go wild. So I'll be the yin, you be the yang, and you go make the papers. <laughs> <laughs>